Uh, welcome, everybody. Welcome to the Dallas-Fort Worth National Drive Electric Week. We thank you so much for spending part of your Sunday morning, uh, a very warm Sunday morning, mind you, uh, with us out here today. My name is Lori Clark. I'm a Senior Manager uh, for Clean Fuels and Energy at the North Central Texas Council of Governments. You've probably never heard of us. If we're doing our job well, you won't, because we work with the cities and the counties to make sure that things that move from one city limit to the next move smoothly. So one of the things we do is transportation planning. I'm also the director of the Dallas-Fort Worth Clean Cities Coalition. We're part of a national network of coalitions uh, working with the Department of Energy to make transportation cleaner. So electric vehicles help our families reduce transportation costs and they help reduce your exposure to the harmful pollutants that are in typical conventional vehicle exhaust. And so that's why we're really excited to host this event every year and give people an opportunity to learn about electric vehicles because the best way to learn about them is to talk to somebody who's already driving electric. It's the best way to get questions answered. So we hope everybody learns something today before you leave. We want to thank our hosts here, City of Fort Worth and Tanger Outlets of Fort Worth for letting us have this event. And a special thank you to Wells Fargo for um, being one of the national hosts of these events all across the country. And with that, I'm going to hand it over to Ken Eakes with the Military Warrior Support Foundation, who has a very special presentation on behalf of themselves in Wells Fargo, and he's going to share more. <laughs> thank you. Well, you know, it wouldn't be near as noisy if that loud engine hadn't gone by. <laughs> and I'll tell you, I'm probably the slowest to change that you know, and I've been driving electric cars lately. I was just talking to Tanya about that a minute ago, and just amazing. It's like a supersized golf cart. It is fantastic. But I'm Ken Eats with the Military Warriors Support Foundation. I'm the executive director. General Cisco and I began the foundation to serve combat wounded veterans and Gold Star families back in 2007. We're just really excited to be here today as part of the National Electric Car Week. Today, we're going to be able to award a vehicle to a very deserving family, combat wounded veteran Chris Henry. We do several things. His pro his vehicle will be awarded under our Transportation for Heroes program in which that we award the vehicle to the family and then they start a one year family and financial mentoring program. Are you ready for that, Chris? I am. <laughs> in which our programs have paid off almost $30 million in hard debt and reduction of debt. And I often think, gosh, I wish somebody, I would have had somebody talking to me like that when I was younger. So we're, we're excited to get you involved in the program. We also do other sorts of programs. We have a leadership development cohort, Skills for Life, which is outdoor recreation and activities and a Homes for Wounded Hero program in which that we've awarded almost a thousand homes all across the nation. But today, I'm here to introduce Chris, uh, his family, his wife Elizabeth, daughter Brooke, and son Rice. They're with us here today to celebrate um, Chris, his service and sacrifice to the nation. Chris originally joined the military in 1997, was stationed at Fort Hood right here in Texas, and, and he's a Texas guy, he's, he's from this Denton area actually, and uh, now in Fort Worth. But when the tragic events of 9-11 happened, Chris had uh, exited the military, he had just done his commitment, got out of the military, 9-11 happened, what does Chris do? He goes back into the military, so thank you for that. Chris served until 2006 when he was medically transitioned and has been back here in Texas now for some time. So with that, Chris, I know you're, I won't go through all the awards, but you're a highly awarded hero in the military and thank you so much for your service. And, and with that, we're, we're just extremely grateful you're here today and able to partner along with Wells Fargo. By the way, what an amazing company not only sponsors this event or part of this event, but awards vehicles to so many of our most deserving heroes across the country. Give, please give it up for Wells Fargo. Well, and with that, Chris, would you like to just say a couple words before you get onto the good stuff, like check it inside that car? Sure. <laughs> 
Uh, thank you all for, for coming out today. I really appreciate it. Uh, military Warrior Support, this is this is a, a very fun day. Um, thank you for allowing us to have this opportunity to, to take ownership of this, this vehicle. Wells Fargo, thank you guys very much as well. Um, I'm sure there's tons of other organizations that are they're involved in this process. Uh, I just have to say that uh, my family and myself, we're very, very thankful for this day. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Chris. And, and with that, I, I want to just introduce Tanya for Tanya Sanders for just a minute. She leads the Wells Fargo Auto Group uh, across the nation, and she is a hero for a hero. When she first heard about this program, she got behind it immediately and has continued to endorse this program for our veterans. Thank you so much, Tanya. Yeah. Thank you, Karen. Hi, I'm Tanya Sanders. As Ken mentioned, I am the head of Wells Fargo Auto, and I am joined here today by several of my colleagues as part of Wells Fargo's commitment to this National Drive Electric Week event and vehicle veteran, uh, veteran vehicle donation. Um, but I first want to give thanks to Mark Mendoza, who helped to plan this event on behalf of Wells Fargo here. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, team, everyone, for showing up. This is just one of many ways that Wells Fargo shows our commitment to state sustainability. Um, through consumer education programs like this where consumers can come out and learn about electric vehicles through our partnership with Plug in America and National Drive Electric Week, as well as our financing of electric vehicles, we work across our businesses to really help uh, provide sustainability financing and ensure that we're helping to accelerate the transition for climate change and a more equitable, low carbon economy um, for our country. Um, when we think about sustainability commitments, Wells Fargo has committed 500 billion in sustainable financing from 2021 to 2030. And so this event is a representation of that. Now, one of the things I'm most proud of, of working with Wells Fargo, is the, is the fact that we have supported our military veterans and their families for over 160 years. And I am um, a child who grew up in the military. My father was career army, and I'm also a military spouse. My husband is in the Navy, and is currently part of the Navy Reserve. And so it's especially important to me for us to continue to support our commitments of veterans and their families. As the Bank of Doing, we've um, donated over 100 vehicles and $3 million of financial mentoring through this program and through our partnership with Military Warriors Support Foundation and their Transportation for Heroes program. And so today, it is an honor to be able to celebrate our hero today, and that's U.S. Army Sergeant Christopher Henry and his family. So with that, um, Ken, do you want to come back up so we can award this car? All right. So congratulations, U.S. Army Sergeant Christopher Henry. Here are the keys to your new electric vehicle. It's a Ford Mach-E. It's a very, very nice car. Congratulations. And, and we're not done yet. You, we have another surprise for you. On behalf of Wells Fargo and the Military Warriors Support Foundation, in addition to the electric car, we're going to provide a $500 EV charging credit to you and your family to get you started on this. <laughs> Congratulations. 